Welcome to the demonstration of the NetSuite connector for Shopify. In this video, we'll explain how to connect your Shopify store to NetSuite and manage orders and refunds. We're going to start here on an order confirmation page of a Shopify site. As you can see, a shopper has just placed an order and it's now ready for import into NetSuite. Let's now head over to the Shopify admin page where we can see relevant customer and order information such as the name, shipping address, the item that was purchased, the price, and the UK VAT. This standard order information is pre-configured to import into NetSuite. However, we can also use Shopify's API to bring in additional data, like the notes field. Although this information is not imported into NetSuite by default, I can configure it in the mapping section of the NetSuite connector. Now let's head over to the NetSuite connector interface, which is the hub between NetSuite and Shopify. The process of importing orders is typically automated, but for the purposes of this demo, I'll use the built-in connector tools to import the data. I'll import the order by clicking retrieve and entering in the Shopify order number. Now that our order is in the NetSuite connector, the data in Shopify is available to be imported into NetSuite to create our sales order. I can select the pencil and edit to view information such as billing, shipping, and items. I'll click show order mapping to view more in-depth detail of what data will be filtered into which fields in NetSuite. I'll then click post order to NetSuite to import the order information. Once we see order posted, waiting for shipment, the order has been successfully created in NetSuite. Now let's head into NetSuite so we can take a look at the sales order. I can find the sales order by typing in the Shopify sales order number into global search. Once I click, I'm brought to the sales order record where I can see the same customer, item, pricing and shipping information from the NetSuite connector. When I navigate to the related records tab, I can see that a deposit has been created for the credit card payment right from the beginning. And this is one of the options that can be configured during setup. Now I'm ready to fulfill the sales order. Usually at this point, I would use our logistics connector to automate shipment processing and create item fulfillments in NetSuite. But for this demonstration, I'll walk through it manually. I'll start by clicking Fulfill. I'll then head to the Packages tab and enter in a package tracking number. This is the tracking number that will pass through the connector on its way to the customer in Shopify. I'll click save and head back to the connector to push the data through. On the order, I'll hover over the pencil and select upload shipment from NetSuite. Just like the order sync, this will happen in the background in a live NetSuite environment. Once our order status is complete, the tracking number has been successfully pushed to Shopify and we can head over there to view it. Navigating to the Shopify admin page, I see the Shopify order is in a fulfilled status with the tracking number we entered into NetSuite. 
At this point, our order is complete in both NetSuite and Shopify. Let's go through one more scenario to see how I would handle a customer refund. On the Shopify admin page, I'll click Refund, enter the quantity, the shipping amount, and click Refund. Heading back to the connector, I'll import the refund and create the credit memo. Navigating to other transactions, I'll select retrieve and enter in the Shopify order number. I'll select retrieve. A success message indicates the refund is ready to be imported into NetSuite. I'll hover over the pencil and click post to create a credit memo. For this demonstration, I'm syncing refunds from Shopify to NetSuite. However, we do have the reverse option of syncing refunds from NetSuite to Shopify. Heading back to NetSuite one last time, we can view our credit memo. I'll type the Shopify order number into the global search and see the credit memo. This completes the refund sync process through the NetSuite connector. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.